study my name's d this is my wife millie so if you like what you see subscribe and hit the notification bell and if you wish to reach out to us you can email us at devoted to ya at gmail.com i was gonna uh read what this means like just so people listening so i can have a witness of what i'm saying okay matthew 9 Verse 13. Yep, go ahead. He says, go and learn what this means. He says, go and learn what this means. I should have read more, but I desire mercy, not sacrifice. For I come not to call the righteous, but sinners. He comes to call the lawless ones, which, you know, the definition of sin is mm -hmm. lawlessness. Yeah. But he says, for those who don't understand, go learn. Go and learn yeah. what this means. Yeah, so he's eating with... Uh... Uh, behold, many tax collectors and sinners came and sat down with him mm -hmm. and his disciples. And when the Pharisees saw it, they said to his disciples, why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? When Yahushua heard that, he said to them, those who are well, this is his response, a nice little, a, a quick line, which is what we're trying to say, a proverb. He who turns his ear from hearing the Torah, even his prayers are abomination. Yeah. Yahushua's response, those who are well have no need of a physician but those who are sick but go and learn what this means i desire mercy and not sacrifice for i did not come to call the righteous but sinners to repentance that's awesome all right i'm gonna be saying that a lot go and learn what this means <laughs> luke 18 verses 1 to 8 then he spoke a parable to them that men always ought to pray and not lose heart saying there wasn't a certain city a judge who did not fear God nor regard man. Now there was a widow in that city, and she came to him saying, Get justice for me from, from, from my adversary. And he would not for a while. But afterward, he said within himself, Though I do not fear God nor regard man, yet because this widow troubles me, I will avenge her, lest by her continual coming she worry me. Then Yahuwah said, Hear what the unjust judge said, and shall God not avenge his own elect who cry out day and night to him? Though he bears long with them, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, he will really find faith on the earth. Amen. Don't, don't stop praying for your wife. Don't stop praying for people to get saved, their friends, family, whatever. You know, that's what this scripture is talking about. Just keep pressing, man. Keep pressing. Let's pray for Brother uh, Jose. One needs to pray for his child. He's yeah. looking for a miracle. Let's pray for him as the husband of that house, the head of that house. Let's pray for him. Pray. The spirit of Yah will fill him. And when he lays hands on his son, that the spirit of Yah will move, you know, things like that. Let's keep I also praying. want to say Let's something towards the, end, towards the end of what Yahushua said, if you go back to it. If you share it right now and go back to it. Okay. Mm -hmm. He says, nevertheless, when the son of man comes, and he's talking about the second coming, I believe, right? Sure. Will, will he really find faith on the earth? Mm -hmm. There's your thing about the whole, uh, depart from me for I did not know you as well. Because if you do not have faith in this Torah, you do not have faith in him as well. Yeah. Don't nobody want to hear that. <laughs> yeah. But he's a living word. So that's right. That's right. All right. Go ahead, Milo. Yeah, I want to go back to what the had said earlier when um in Acts Acts twelve, when it talks about they prayed and then the servant girl had had seen Peter and she went back and they were like, no, 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 you're just you're just seeing an uh, his angel, and you mentioned the word doubt and I wonder if while they were praying they didn't have doubt like they really believe you who could do it he could release him he can set him free and all that. But when the the fruition of the prayer actually comes comes in front of them, which they didn't see, then that doubt comes. And I think the reason I think about this is when I got pregnant, for example, it took us years to get pregnant. And I believe you who could do it. I mean, I prayed, I fasted, I just changed. Like, I, I knew he could do it. I see examples. We were just reading about him and everything. 
And so I believed it. But then when I saw my pregnancy test come out positive for the first time, all I could say was, you who let it be so, like, really let this be so, like, is, you know, so I, I'm wondering if, if sometimes, I don't know if people, when you see the answer to prayer, the doubt comes like, I need to do it, but did you really just do mm-hmm. it? Did you really just answer that? I don't know if that makes Human sense. in us, I guess. It's our human, mm-hmm. you know, like, whoa, did that really happen? Did that really happen? Like, yep. And then start questioning exactly what we prayed for. Coming Be of little faith, Yahushua would say. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Get behind me, Satan. <laughs> Be of little faith. Just like when they went out and told him to come out in the water, you know. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'll go out there with you. He got scared. He had doubt, and then he fell in the water. He went out, and then, yep, took his eyes off. Mm-hmm. All right, we're going to go through these uh, other passages and end with these scriptures. We got uh, a good amount left. All right. Matthew 18, 19, it says, again, I say to you that if two or two of you agree on earth concerning anything that they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. And obviously that's in context to in Yahusha's name. Yep. And, uh, you know, um, 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 thought just passed my mind. I was Eighth. done. Uh, in his will, it being in Yah's will. Okay, those are very important. As some people try to treat Yah like a genie in a bottle. Okay, he's a genie in a bottle. I could just rub this bottle and get whatever I want, name it and claim it. That's not what the scriptures is about. It's not about naming and claiming stuff. It's about you requesting things that you really need, things that are really important, and most importantly, that are important to our Father in heaven. So you always want to pray according to his will.